It's Chesterfield time from coast to coast. And Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company, makers of Chesterfield cigarettes, bring you the music of Hal Kemp and the songs of Alice Faye, Hollywood's brightest and loveliest star. Thanks, Carlton, and a Chesterfield cheerio to everyone. What in the world are you doing with all those boxes, Miss Faye? Here, let me help you. Oh, thanks, just the same, Carlton, but they're all empty. Hello, Alice. Gee, look at all those boxes. What you got? Presents? Mm-mm. Not unless you like empty boxes, Hal. Oh, that's a funny thing, bringing a radio station. I never saw anything like it. What do they fall? <laughs> that's my secret, Hal. Now you go on and play. <laughs> Goodbye, Jonah. got to help. You're going to fill these boxes. Why? What's going on? Well, I'm giving a picnic next Monday. Oh, I've got to work Monday. But you can't work Monday. It's Labor Day. Yeah, that's right. It is, isn't it? It is, Mr. Kemp, but uh, this is Friday, remember? And from coast to coast, it's Chesterfield time. And right now, the brilliant spotlight of stardom is focused on a lovely girl with wavy blonde hair and smiling blue eyes. Our Chesterfield girl, Miss Alice Fay, singing Roses in December. Yeah. 
Well, I take the star from the blue Give me your love And I can make the most impossible things come true Blue shadows never Sunshine forever Roses in December honestly believe it's worth any smoker's while to try Chesterfields. So many men and women have found that Chesterfield is just the cigarette they've been hoping for, that it has just the qualities they want in a smoke. Chesterfield's refreshing mildness, better taste, and more pleasing aroma give more pleasure to millions. That's a mighty good sign they'll do the same for you. <laughs> Skinny Ennis and the four Esquires give their okay to Miss Faye's picnic plans as they sing, You Got Something There. got something there. They advertise you've got something there. That frown so stormy, that smile so sunny, they're worth a million dollars in anybody's money. And those come kiss their lips, oh, you've got something there. I'm getting tipsy, so much do I care. And as for this young and foolish heart, you should be aware that you really got something there. Yes, you really got something there. With those stars in your eyes, you got something there. They advertise here, you got something there. That found so stormy, that smile so sunny. talking to Saxy and Skinny and some of the boys, and I... Yes, Carlton, and what's the matter? Well, they want to know if this is a picnic for just you and Hal, or... Now, don't get things all mixed up, Carlton. Miss Faye is giving a picnic and not a convention. <laughs> That's right, Carlton. A nice, big family picnic for everybody on the program. Yeah, man! Quiet, please. I, I finally get a date with Alice, and I have to take the whole doggone band and Carlton along with me. Don't pay attention to Mr. Kemp, boys. Just play Harbor Lights.
From Anything Goes, one of the greatest successes in the history of the musical theater, Chesterfield's lovely singing star, Miss Alice Faye, has chosen Cole Porter's You're the Top. Words poetic, I'm so pathetic. So pathetic that I always have found it best instead of getting them off my chest. Words poetic, I'm so pathetic that I always have found it best instead of getting them off my chest to let them rest unexpressed. I hate parading my serenading as I'll probably miss a bar. But if this ditty is not so pretty, at least it'll tell you how great you are. You're the top. You're the Coliseum. You're the top. You're the Lou Museum. You're a melody from a symphony by Strauss. You're a Bendel bonnet, a Shakespeare sonnet. You're Mickey Mouse. You're the Nile. You're the Tower of Pisa, you're the smile on the Mona Lisa. I'm a worthless check, a total wreck of flop. But if baby, I'm the bottom, you're the top. Oh, thank you, Miss Faye. A was to say that you're wonderful, marvelous to Quite often, I run across smokers who have recently changed to Chesterfield. In their own way, they all tell me practically the same thing. They found Chesterfields just what we say they are. There is a difference in Chesterfield's refreshing mildness and better taste. There's more pleasure, more downright satisfaction. Chesterfields are mild, and yet they satisfy. <laughs> Kemp plays You're My Desire. Bob Allen sings the romantic story. Mine 
forever You're my desire I gather stars from out of the blue And give them to you There isn't a single thing I wouldn't do So that you'll know you're my desire I only wish to live So I can give you all my love You're my desire for my picnic. Carlton, now, now look, you're the first. Okay. Here's a box marked hard-boiled eggs. Fill it, bring it, and help eat it. Well, that's good enough for me, Miss Faye. Skinny Ennis, here's yours. Hot dogs. Hot dog, lady. <laughs> Bob Allen, ham sandwiches. Nothing personal, Bob. Come in, hap. Sexy doll. Yes, ma'am. Liquid refreshment. Yes, ma'am. Lemonade. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and now, Hal, here's what you're supposed to bring Well, Alice, this box is labeled ants Well, what's a picnic without ants? And I'm bringing a tin of Chesterfields for every boy in the band Ah, that's swell, Miss Faye You know, Chesterfields are milder and taste better Because they're made of mild, ripe tobaccos That's the reason for the greater pleasure that Chesterfields give smokers mm, There you go again, Carlton Taking advantage of my picnic <laughs> For the first time on the air, a Harold Mooney original composition, a Hell Kemp arrangement, Tantrum. Picnic mood to medley mood as Hal Kemp brings back musical memories of Halcyon days on Broadway. My heart stood still and thou swell.
theater lights are dimmed, the stage is flooded with a soft blue as the curtain rises on a woodland scene. We take you in fancy to our picnic at the end of a crowded, exciting day. Our hostess, Alice Fay, has slipped away from her guests and sits alone under a tree in welcome solitude. Oh, it's been such a lovely day. Everybody's been so sweet and thoughtful. Almost as if they knew that someone, something was missing. That's strange, isn't it? How could they know? They've never seen him. They don't know anything about him. I'm the only one that really knows about him. He's been here and he's gone away again. Oh, why did it have to be like this? Why couldn't he have been here always with me? We sat under this very tree together just last week. It seems years. I won't forget what he said. It may help make the days and weeks and months go faster. He said, look at those stars, darling. They're yours. Yours and mine. And best of all, we won the right to be in love. The stars that shine are yours and mine. The rainbows in the sky are yours and mine. The song of springtime, the lullaby of fall, the sunshine of summertime belongs to us all. The moon above is yours and mine. The right to fall in love is yours and mine. The hope of finding the dream of heart's design. All this is yours. eating those ants. Next Friday night at the same time, Chesterfield again brings you Miss Alice Fay and Hal Kemp and his music. In the meantime, don't miss our Wednesday program with Andre Costellanitz and Frank Parker at 9 p.m. New York time. Miss Fay has appeared on this program through the courtesy of 20th Century Fox Film Corporation. Heard on tonight's program were Goodbye Jonah from Virginia and Yours and Mine from Broadway Melody of 1938. Carlton Cadell saying good night for Chesterfield. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. This is KNX, the Columbia Station, Los Angeles.